hey guys it's Justin welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna be filming a day in the life of me being in recovery mode I don't know I'm gonna have to work on that title but basically just a day in the life vloggy vlog I have quite an interesting interesting for me somewhat busy day so I felt like it would be a good day to kind of take you guys around with me if y'all watched my last video and if you watched it all the way to the end then you learned that I just just recently moved to San Antonio, Texas. So I kind of wanted to just give you guys some updates on how that's going, how I'm adjusting, how I'm doing, and just kind of like the normal daily events. But first things first, the reason why I'm filming in my car right now is because I actually have um, a therapy session today in literally two minutes. So I decided to come out to my car because honestly guys, I'm somewhat of a paranoid person. <laughs> and now like the biggest adjustment I've been feeling is like just adjusting to living with people again because I have been so isolated for like a long time and it's like I know nobody's listening in on my conversations I know like nobody cares that much to like spy on me or anything like that I know that but in my head I'm just like scared to talk freely especially in a vulnerable thing like this yeah so during my last session my therapist was like having trouble hearing me and I realized it was because I was like basically whispering because I was just so nervous about somebody else you know walking by my room and hearing my conversation so I was like you know what I'm not doing that I'm gonna just come on to my car because especially since my time with her is limited I don't want anything you know you feel me so yeah I'm actually about to log on now have my therapy session and then I will catch back up with you guys after that all right, so it's been an hour. Just got out or off of my therapy session call and it went so well. At the very end, I just had to tell her. I was like, girl, you are so good at what you do and I really just appreciate you for helping me. Like, even though it's a service, like I genuinely appreciate it so much because every single time this is only our third session i learned so much and she just makes things make sense and i'm like uh there's a reasoning behind everything that i'm feeling with food and hunger and everything she just i appreciate it so much so today we kind of talked about we talked about a lot of different things um we always lead with like anything i'm dealing with and i'll just be honest and tell you guys that one of the things that i've had to deal with since being here is honestly just feeling shamed to eat like we pretty much we all eat dinner together but for breakfast and lunch it's kind of like you're on your own just like eat whenever you want or fend for yourself type of stuff which is fine but I find myself feeling almost like I don't deserve to eat and like if I go into the kitchen and nobody else is eating then I I won't eat <laughs> because I feel like I can't I don't know it's weird I think because now I'm around other people like before I was just in the comfort of my own home all the time and so I would just do what I wanted to do all the time which I still can do now but now that there's other people around I feel like a judgment factor and it's not coming from them it's all in my head so we kind of talked about that and she said basically what's happening is that you're letting that affect you eating and you're pushing your hunger to like the nth level and then usually what will happen is that because now I didn't treat that hunger cue when it was like first initially starting now I'm kind of getting more into like the starving mode like the hangry mode now my body is gonna try to eat in excess it's gonna like overeat to almost like overcompensate for the extreme hunger that I was feeling and she said it has something to do with my my blood sugar level we talked a lot about that it was just extremely insightful and she just really like helps me to really understand what's going on with my body but at the same time not make me feel shamed for anything like she corrects me because sometimes I'll catch myself saying good food bad food or like things like that and she's like you know food does not have a what did she say a more morality like food is not good or bad food is food you just need to start paying attention to like how your body feels with that food because the goal with this whole thing is to get my body feeling its best and that is gonna require different needs versus other people so anyway long story short therapy session was great I wrote a bunch of like chicken scratch notes in my notebook so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and actually like write out my notes because this like isn't even legible but in other news I'm currently eating a 
breakfast taco, which so freaking bomb. I already ate one of them um, before I did my therapy session. So this is my second one and so good. Um, one of the tangible pieces of advice she gave me last time is that I need to start eating breakfast within the first hour of me waking up because something I would do is I would stretch that time that I would first eat so long to the point where I was just starving and I always kind of use the excuse that I'm not really that hungry in the morning and so we kind of talked about that and she was like you know you need to kind of give your body something like your body needs that energy in order to do things so yeah I'm trying to like give you guys the very briefness of it but we like do very deep dives into everything as far as everything else me just being here has been really good for me I can definitely tell that I'm in the right spot there's nothing really back home that I feel like I'm missing Missing, other than my family of course but even that where I was in that city I wasn't seeing my family very often I would maybe see my mom once a month you know so I wasn't constantly getting that family interaction so I don't necessarily really feel like I'm missing out on anything but city wise there's nothing in Shreveport that I and missing that I feel like I can't get here in San Antonio. So on that scale, I definitely feel like I made the right choice. And just from this last week, week and a half, almost two weeks, I've just been trying my best to adjust and get used to everything. So yeah, I'm sure I have plenty more to say, but I'm gonna go ahead and go on in and let you guys catch up with me along the day. Hey guys, so for lunch today, I ended up making a roasted chicken with a lemon crema ensemble so it got really really fancy this meal is actually from green chef and for those of y'all who might be new to my channel i have worked with green chef several times in the past they are an awesome meal kit delivery service that makes cooking fun and easy you just go online pick which meals you want and then all of the ingredients are delivered fresh right to your door green chef is a usda certified organic company and has a wide array of dishes for a variety of different lifestyles including vegan vegetarian paleo and keto and I just love the convenience of it all because there's no hassle at the grocery store the ingredients come pre-measured pre-portioned and mostly prepared and the recipes are quick and easy to follow and they come with step-by-step -step instructions chef tips and photos to help guide you along and also now that I'm back living with family again it's nice because they also get to reap the benefits of it too so whether I want to make seconds for myself for later or if I just want to make an entire meal for the whole fam everybody gets to enjoy so if you've been interested in trying out green chef then i highly recommend for you to go ahead and take advantage because right now you can use code justin's journey 90 at checkout to receive 90 dollars off your order including free shipping on your first box so if you're interested in that then you can go ahead and head on over to their website at greenchef.us slash justin's journey 90 and again i want to thank green chef so so much for sponsoring today's video all right guys, here is the final product of my meal. Got the chicken, the little cabbage and onion with lemon crema sauce, and then we got some butternut squash and some Brussels sprouts. And compared to the picture, I definitely didn't leave my um, veggies as thick as they were supposed to be. I ended up chopping them down a little bit more so. So it doesn't really look as pretty, but I mean, it's the same thing. I already had a chance to try this sauce and it was really good. Green Chef does a really, really good job with their sauces. I always end up like wanting more of it, like hoping that I can actually find it in the store, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this for lunch. I'm gonna kinda do some multitasking and get some editing done, but I will catch back up with you guys in a few. All right guys, I am now back in my room. It's weird, everybody just left all of a sudden, like they literally went in three opposite directions, but coincidentally, everybody left at the same time. So I was like, okay, well, I low key kinda got the house to myself, so I might as well take this opportunity to talk to y'all. But I just kinda wanted to furthermore explain what I mean when I say I'm in recovery. So this is a term that I like coined myself. Nobody said I'm in recovery, but I personally feel Feel like I'm in a form of recovery I'm in a stage of my life where I'm focused on recovering and healing and stuff and what I mean by that is that right now a weight loss isn't my top priority um, I'm not tracking anything and 
I hadn't even been tracking for a while. Even before the whole issue with WW, I hadn't consistently been using the app and actually tracking things for several months even before that. So right now, I am not really worried about tracking every little thing. My main goal for myself is healing my relationship with food and really getting to like the root of my issues and my problems and trying to figure out why I am the way I am and why I think the way I think and trying my best to heal that before I can move forward with losing weight. Now that doesn't mean that I don't want to lose weight. That doesn't mean that I'm happy where I am. I absolutely want to lose weight but I've just realized that I have centered weight loss around no, I've centered my life around weight loss for so many years and that although it worked at some points, it just led me to where I am now, where I'm damn near at my heaviest weight. So it just doesn't seem like that's working. So I feel like I'm going to go ahead and try something else and more than likely in the process of me healing my relationship with food and like learning about all the things that I'm learning about, like my hunger cues and my satiety cues, more than likely I'm probably going to be losing weight in the process of that but what I'm saying is that my focus isn't weight loss if I do lose weight I'm gonna look at that as a bonus but I had to do a mental shift in order to help myself refocus into what I believe matters most and you know what is interesting I constantly not constantly but I've been feeling like I've been in a state of uncomfortableness for a while like for I don't know the last month since I've gotten a therapist and since I moved here and when I say uncomfortableness I feel constant uncomfortable growth. I'm somebody who admittedly I'm very stuck in my ways and I do things the way I like to do things but being around people and being exposed to like how other people live their lives and just having like these little things here and there like I feel like all Almost every single day something happens where it's like this uncomfortable growth and I say uncomfortable because it's out of my comfort zone. Not necessarily that it's bad or anything but just to give you guys an example when I first got here I was nervous to use the pots and pans in the kitchen because I didn't want to like overstep my boundaries which I know is stupid but eventually I just had to get over it and I'm like okay if I want to eat if like I'm gonna have to be able to use the pots and pans and cook you know just like little bitty things like that I feel like every single day I'm learning more and more about myself more and more about the people I'm with more and more about what I'm gonna have to do and I'm slowly trying to find comfort in being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's currently where I'm at right now with my whole journey, I guess. And I'm really excited. I feel hopeful for the future. I feel like this is something that I haven't done before and this is the right way that I should have done it the entire time. I'm taking baby steps at a time. Nothing is super duper forced on me, which is good because usually when I'm like forcing the situations, it makes me just resent it and rebel against it. So I'm taking things extremely slow. I'm really trying to look into the mental aspect of everything. And my hope for myself is that one day I'm just gonna do this and like be normal, like not have to think this hard into every little decision, into every little thing that I put into my mouth. I just want to live my life normally and food not be such a huge issue and control over me. That is my my ultimate goal for myself. So yeah, I'm probably going to be in this phase for a while and then I'm assuming, I don't know, I'm assuming once I feel a little bit more comfortable and I have enough structure, then I'm going to again probably transition into a weight loss mode. I don't know if that means that I'm going to go back to WW. I don't know if that means I'm even going to be on any program, but eventually I'm going to resume my weight loss journey but for right now it's just about healing my relationship with food and trying to be the best jerston that i can be so yeah little update from me since i wanted to take advantage of the opportunity that nobody else is in the house but yeah let's go ahead and continue on with the day you wanna hold it <gasps> oh my goodness look at that pretty baby <laughs> 
Hey guys, so it is actually the next day. I really don't know what happened, but a few hours after I finished my last clip, I ended up taking a really big nap, which if you know anything about me, I usually don't take naps. So yeah, I usually don't take them because I end up napping the entire day, which is kind of what happened. And when I woke up, it was already pitch black outside. So I wasn't really as motivated to keep filming. So we had dinner. I kind of spent some time with the fam. And then I was expecting to probably be up all night because I napped throughout the day. Surprisingly though, I got an entire eight hours worth of sleep so i don't know i guess my body just needed it but it's the next day and i'm just gonna go ahead and continue this vlog so i'm kind of rushing right now because i need to hurry up and get ready because there is a picture that needs to go up on instagram it's for a brand it doesn't need to go up today but it needs to be sent to the brand today and i kind of waited to the last minute to do it so now i need to go ahead and get ready for it and i need to hurry up because in an hour i'm working out with whitley so yeah it's kind Kind of like when it rains it pours like everything happens around the same time and then i just go days without doing anything and then all of a sudden every you know so i'm just gonna quickly pop my contacts in by the way i use the hubble daily contacts i've been using them for like three months now and definitely a game changer i love using dailies over using um i don't know if they're called weeklies or monthlies but i used to use the same contacts like over and over again for like months but i wouldn't use them every single day but now that i use these dailies they're so much easier because at the end of the day i just throw them away my hands then I'm gonna pour it in by the way if you hear a crying baby that is my little sister something's not going her way right now so she's letting it be very well known there she is hey Jay okay hi hi did you say hi <laughs> what's up all right, I've got one hour until we work out. So my makeup routine lately has actually been pretty easy. I quit using face makeup for the most part. Um, so my everyday is pretty much just eyebrows and maybe a tiny bit of concealer. You trying to be in the mix? Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Alright, now I need to figure out something to do with my hair. And just put it up some kind of way. By the way, I'm for sure getting a haircut within the next month or so. I know y'all are probably so tired of me complaining about it, but just look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is day two hair, by the way, which usually is my best day. And I can tell like it's way past time for me to get a cut because now I'm just at the point where I don't even enjoy wearing it down even when it's like freshly washed because I just, I don't like the shape of it. I don't know how well y'all can see, but you see how it kind of has like a hole in the shape. The sad thing is they're probably going to have to chop most of it off in order to get it to look good, which sucks because I really want to retain my length, but I think more so I would rather my hair look shorter and healthier than longer and stringy and uneven like this. All right, but anyway, let me figure out something I need to do with my hair. Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. All right, so I decided to go with my little top knot at the top, which is kind of my signature, half up, half down. I still really don't like the cut. Like, <laughs> look at this, but I think I can at least fake the funk enough to get a good picture. All right, I scoped out the whole house and I think the backyard is gonna be my best bet. So let me take my tripod to the ground. We're gonna see. I'm gonna try to shoot right here. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to work on that angle, but I think that's gonna work. All right guys, I got the picture. I now have five minutes to get ready before we work out. We try to plan our workouts around my baby sister's nap time, just so it's like uninterrupted, undivided time slot, you know? So I kind of hate that I got all dressed up just for that and now I'm about to go get sweaty. But yeah, really quick, I'm gonna go ahead, change out of this and let's go work out. She be calling on a Monday, wanna meet on Tuesday, asking me to fix me up real nice. She can wait until the weekend, she wants off the deep end, telling me to bring the stuff I like. I don't wanna let her down, so I'm telling her yes. Though I'm kinda down from the pain in my chest, but I'm putting her to sign on. I'm gonna feel her right now, happy from the stuff I know she likes. I've been trying my luck. Every day of the week, yeah When my baby words up hey. Always down every week, yeah No I love her too much But I just can't get enough She's slipping through the cracks, come up love She know what's up uh, Can't get enough Yeah, even when it don't fit right Workout is done. I look a hot mess. <sighs> Shout out to Fit Mama Wit. Woo! Justin did so good today. <laughs> now we're gonna eat a late lunch. And then I need to take a shower. And then I'm gonna do some office stuff. But yeah. It was a successful day. All right, guys, I am back. It is actually the next day again. You know, I don't know what it is, but it seems like every time I try to film these day in a life vlogs, a day in a life just turns into two or three days worth of footage. Don't know what it is, but like I keep saying, I'm just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video right here. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but I'm still trying to get back acclimated and adjusted to filming um, regular videos now. So yeah, really quick. I I would like to go ahead and give the super special secret emoji. So first of all, very special shout out to Devet Sledge. Very special shout out to Miss Jackie Metal or Medell. <laughs> and very, very special shout out to Miss Jess Ryan Ware. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting. I really do appreciate it. And for today's super special secret emoji, it is gonna be the mushroom emoji. Don't ask me why, super random. I literally just scrolled through all the emojis and for some reason it was sticking out. So please make sure to comment that on today's video and you will be possibly shout out in the next one. And of course, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe join me on this journey and I will catch you in my next video bye guys